Hi everybody and welcome back to All About Phoenicia. I am going to now take the machine, take the stuff off the machine so that I can be able to sew something. I cut off some pieces of white fabric. So if you want to follow along with me on your machine or either this same machine, comment below if you have a machine like this. And um, we are going to do some sample stitching to see how these stitches look on fabric. So I'm going to put together, I'm going to put this um, foot pedal on and of course it's on the side or is it on the back? Let's see. Let's see where the foot pedal belongs and I got I told you guys that I was going to actually read the manual I hadn't read it yet <laughs> hold on the back of the machine like this okay there's this little hole in, and that goes on the side of the machine and I'm gonna turn the machine around I don't think I can turn the camera around but it belongs in this plug right here so you just put it in on the side Make sure it's fitting in there. Okay, so the back part, I mean, I'm sorry, the on and off switch is on the side, but I'm not gonna cut it on right now simply because I still have the blue tape all everywhere. So I'm just gonna turn the machine around so it was next to the outlet plug like that. So before I cut it on, I wanna make sure all of the the factory tape and stuff is off of it before I actually put it on. So now is a good time to kind of explain what your machine parts are. Um, I'm just going to briefly go over it. And let me get my camera straight. is for the bobbin threader this is what you use to thread your bobbin and there's a little piece of tape right here this is all for threading your machine you you're going to put it through these little slits right here whenever you are um, threading your machine and so this part is a little compartment that has the embroidery stitches now um i don't know if i mentioned this before but um this machine not only does sewing and quilting but it does do light embroidery and so this is where your embroidery stitches are at the very top part let me zoom in this is where your embroidery stitches are at the very top part up here for your embroidery and so it only has a few things on here as you can see it only has hold on just a second and so as you can see right here it only has a few embroidery stitches but it's something that you can work with for light embroidery if you have some little projects that you can do like the face masks are little projects to me and i feel like those are the ones that would like if you have light embroidery like that's a good thing to use it on because um it doesn't take up that much space so this machine is totally awesome it has so many uh, advantages to it and it's well worth the price because um, Brother is an awesome product. Also, this is the bobbin uh, winder. This is where you place your bobbin, bobbin to thread it. Ask me about those pre-wound bobbins that you find in the store. And you can get those. I got so good uh, reviews as far as the pre-wound bobbins. 
and I personally have never used them but I heard they do damage your machine because you don't know whether you're getting the correct um, bobbin for your particular machine because you don't know whether it goes to your machine or not and I personally would not take my chances because number one machines are very hard to come by number two you don't want to take it to the shop I heard there's a waiting list out the world for um, machines to be fixed because a lot of the machines have conked out because they've been people have been sewing masks after masks after masks and sewing all kinds of stuff for their families and um, it finally conked out but these machines are durable they last a long time sometimes it's how you take care of them it's just like a car how you take care of a car depends on how long your vehicle will last. So, and it, it doesn't depend on the brand. It can be Chevy, it can be Ford, it can be um, whatever, Nissan, whatever. As long as you keep the oil change, as long as you um, keep the, you know, the basic maintenance stuff that you need to take care of a vehicle. And it's the same thing with a sewing machine. If you don't take care of it, then it's going to be ruined. But they are built to last a good amount of years. I'm talking 30, 50, um, you know, years. So keep that in mind when you are using your machine. Now, I just peeled off the tape. And my camera wants to twist on me. I just peeled off the tape and let's see. Is there something in here? Yes. I don't know if you know, but all brother machines usually come with a little packet like this. And basically it's always hidden inside of this compartment. I know sometimes you don't want to take your machine apart and you're like, oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? But, yeah. Alright, so it comes with a little packet like this. And I'm going to bet you it's going to have all of the needles and everything in here. So this is a button um, device for when you do your buttons. So you have one of those. You have some needles. You have some organic needles. And that's 14. I'm assuming this is the embroidery needle. This is the, like a serger needle. Wow. The double needle like this is just like the serger so let's see what else we got and this is the regular needles for your machine zoom in yeah so it already has one in there and then you have um, three more you have some bobbins. You have, look like, three. Three bobbins in here. So that's a good thing. I, I I bought some, but just in case. I like to buy, like, Joanne's has like a, I don't know how many was in there. Maybe 20. They have them. So, what you do is rather than buying the pre-wound thread and, and risk damaging your machine get a pack of the clear bobbins like these that that go with your machine and take some time out not when you're doing your project because it's going to prolong your time and you're not going to want to do whatever project you have because it takes a minute to wind these bobbins wind all of them wind the colors that you would you, that you frequently use or that you're about to use for your particular project so you won't have to worry about 
um, changing your bobbin in the middle of a project. So that's a tip. Always kind of like pre-thread pre your bobbins before you do a project. Therefore, you won't. You can get straight to what you straight to the project rather than having to wind the bobbins and do all of that. It takes time. You have some more presser feet. This is one, two, three. And I'm going to explain the different presser foot, presser feet in another video because there's so many of them, and you would know you would be amazed at how many um, presser feet that you can put on your machine. This is for when you're doing the zippers. So, yeah, I'm going to explain it. Explain it. I'm going to explain it in another video because it's going to be too much. This is another one. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six. Press the feet, you get the button. You got one that's already on there and you have the walking foot in the other packet. Remember this packet that I, I showed you on yesterday, the walking foot and then the quilting foot. And you also get a little screw to unscrew your, um, screwdriver to unscrew your your uh, parts so that you can be able to get in there and do whatever you have to do whenever that time comes so that was what was in this envelope there's nothing else in there so I kind of like like to put everything with this particular machine in here because you know I have five machines so I don't want to mix everything together. All of them came with these little packets, including the singer. So I want to place them back in here. And I'm just going to put it back inside that little compartment thingy. All right, so it has some little slits that just slid through there. I kind of want it to be a little bit here with thread in it. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I'm going to leave that in here. And I'm just not going to worry about the fact that it's white. And um, I am going to thread the machine right now.